in there. Pretend I'm a big horse. Have you stole his car? Yes. You think he wanted to have sex? Of course. <laughs> Would you have? No. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, do I want to wake up next to that in the morning? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like a freak sometimes. It's just sex. There's more important things. Scoot over. Good morning. Good morning. You're Elaine. You're Colin. Do you mind if I join you? Oh, no. Uh, be my guest. I'll, uh, I'll get you a cup. Tastes too hot. I won't ask what you did last night, because I don't think I'd like the answer. No. She's a nice kid, Angela. I like her. She's also only 15. She seems to think she has some catching up to do. Yeah, well, I wouldn't know about that. I read your book. Oh. I liked it. I thought it was very raw and truthful it's and... It's fiction. Have you been having a good time? Smashing. Of course not. You were lucky. I can't remember. Was she married? Only to her work. She didn't get on with men. She gonna come out of it? No. I don't know. Maybe. I haven't been to visit her yet, actually. I was driving. I'm sorry, I've got to go to work. I'd offer you a lift, but... But you don't want to. That's OK. I have a car. But you should come by and visit me. I'm only here for a couple of days. And why would I want to do that? Blind impulse. I mean, isn't that what you're famous for? Used to be. Excuse me. I'm a good hair cutter. If you need a pretext for coming, 